So what happens when the appraisal comes in less than the actual contract sales price? Hi everyone, it's Jeff Quinton at thequintongroup.tv. Welcome back. So the question is, is what happens when you're under contract to purchase a home and the appraisal is done from your lender and the appraisal comes in less than what your purchase price is? Well, there's a few things that can happen. Number one is we need to look at and say, hey, what comparable sales is the actual appraiser using? Many times they're not always using the, the right comparable sales. So sometimes we have to have a little bit of influence on the actual sales, where they are, the location, the features, the benefits of the home you're buying, and make sure that those adjustments are in there. For example, you know, maybe an appraisal right now is using a comparable sale that's uh, on a busier road and the one you're buying is on a cul-de-sac. Well, there's, there could be certainly a, uh, an adjustment made for its location, right? It could be the size of the home, the age of the home, what improvements have been made. That's always something we look at as far as the, uh, the correct comparable sales. Second part is, you know, we can get a little more, um, a little bit more uh, creative, especially in our secondary resort market is, for example, the home appraises, let's say that um, you're under contract for say a $650,000 home and the appraisal comes in at 625,000. So you're a $25,000 gap. You know, one of the things that we can do in the secondary resort market many times, we're selling our homes here um, furnished, right? Well, what we've done many times, we've just lowered the sales price to the 625 number that the appraisal came in at, and then the buyer just pays the seller the extra $25,000 towards the furnishings and so forth. They were gonna do that already anyway. The furniture was already included in the purchase price, but we're just kind of separating the two. We're then putting the sales price on the real estate only, along with the contents or furnishings uh, as a bill of sale for the additional amount. Some creative ways we can do that. So, you know, the, the thing is this, there's different ways to look at this as far as when appraisal comes in less. Number one is making sure they're the right comparable sales. Number two, we reach out to the appraiser to make sure there's any adjustments. Number three, then we can start to look at, hey, can we adjust the sales price in some certain way with being able to put in a bill of sale or additional furniture, or maybe it's patio furniture, maybe it's some other type of improvements that the seller had had that you can have the, that as a buyer, you can pay something separate outside of the contract for sale. So these are just a couple of different things to think of. There's several other ones out there. If you're having troubles or uh, having some concern about appraisals or you want to know how much your home is worth or how much it would appraise, simply reach out to me direct. It's jeff at thecrittengroup.com or call 609-398-5333. Again, thanks for watching.